So I'm just gonna really quickly answer some of your questions that you left me on the um, episode three, yeah, YouTube video. Um, I just asked whether there was kind of any small kind of points that you wanted me to cover and um, you guys left me some really good questions so I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. Um, First question is, do you have same macros on rest days as training days? So, um, I do, yeah, um, I don't really change them up. I know a lot of people do kind of like low carb on rest days and things, but I feel like it's equally as important to keep your calories, keep your carbs and keep everything kind of up on recovery days because on the days I'm not going to the gym, it's often when I'm super, super sore and I'm recovering and that's when it's really key to be kind of eating calories and eating carbs and making sure that you're recovering your muscles and building that muscle which is fueled by food. So for me, it's equally as important on rest days to kind of carb and calorie up as much as on other days. Do you plan meals ahead? So do I meal prep? No, I never have meal prepped because I just fancy too many different things all the time and I just, I, I can't do meal prep or anything like that. So I simply just take my day as it comes. I just eat what I fancy as I go along through the day and then I have to tailor my macros and kind of what I'm eating more towards the end of the day because at the beginning I kind of can eat whatever because I don't know where my macros are going. Then by the end of the day I know I have whether I need to have um, a more carb dense uh, dinner or a more fat dense dinner. So like I kind of tailor it as I go throughout the day. Do you, what do you eat to fuel your workouts? So I just make sure I have some carbs before and some carbs after. So I'm gonna be up going off to the gym um, in a minute. And I've just, my hand is so orange. And I've just um, had some rice with some veggies. So I make sure <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of carb um, before and after because carbs are the best. Um, and I always try to stick to complex carbs, like I just had some brown rice or some sweet potato or things like that just because I find that cleaner, cleaner. Um, what supplements do you take? So that's um, a bit more of a lengthy question, so I'll try and do a kind of separate video on supplements soon. Um, bulking macros, that's a, 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 a very commonly asked question. Again, that would take me too long to kind of explain now, but on bodybuilding.com is where I go through to work out my bulking macros. Just type into Google, how do you work out macros for bulking and go on the bodybuilding.com one. Workout split slash how often do you train legs? So I usually train two to three upper body days a week and two to three legs slash glute days a week. And that's on like a really good week when I would be going to the gym like six, five to six times a week. Um, if not, I just go with the flow and kind of if I've trained legs and then can, can't train till the week after, I'll train upper body or legs or whatever I'm kind of fancying. Usually it's glutes, but um, yeah, it depends on recovery as well. Um, if I've trained legs twice, um, and my legs are too sore, I won't train them a third time, and I'll just kind of train when things are recovered. Um, what did you study at A-level, and what did you need to get into uni to study maths? So I did biology, chemistry, business, and maths, and um, what did I need? I needed three A's, and I managed to get two A-stars and an A. Don't ask how. So, um, yeah, so that's what I needed for uni. For maths in Exeter... Um, fitness trackers, what do you think about fitness trackers? So, um, personally I've never actually owned a good fitness tracker. I remember buying one for like 20 pounds, but it was counting my steps when I was in the car. I got out of the box in the car and I'd done about 100 steps apparently. So that kind of put me off using one, but my mum uses one and loads of people I know use them and they are good for steps and sleep and things like that. Um, wouldn't rely on them for things like calories and stuff. They're not 100% accurate, so you've got to be careful when you're using them. Um, I am interested in find in, in like um, investing in a better one um, and getting more involved with that kind of thing. But at the moment, I've never used one, and yeah, I just kind of use the steps on my phone if I want to track steps. Um, high slash low carb days. Like, when do you have them? When do you do them? So I used to do, I tried for two weeks to do that thing where you do two high carb days and one low low carb day. It just didn't work for me because I just love carbs too much. So basically I just, my macros stay the same throughout the whole week and I don't do low and high carb anymore. Um, that's something other people might be able to talk more about. Um, but like I said, um, people mainly do like low carb days on non-carb non, non 
training days when I think actually it's just as important to kind of feel your body on those days. Um, when to adjust your macros. So I usually adjust my macros after I've lost five pounds um, and I'll just redo the macros then. Do you track sugar? No, I only track calories, carbs, fat and protein. Sugar is a carb, so in a sense it's being tracked, but not solely on its own. How do you find macros out for things like Subway meal? So this is the thing a lot of people ask. How do you work out macros for something that is like a piece of ham or like just things like that? So I just literally Google um, Subway nutrition and on every kind of thing like Wagamama's, Subway, Nando's, they will have nutrition on the website. You just gotta find it. They like to hide it sometimes, but it's there so you can find it. And yeah, you have a little dig around and you find it and it says nutrition and um, it'll tell you all the calories, the carbs, the fats and all of that. And that's where I found out things like that. And then things like ham, chicken, like if it's not on the pack or if you haven't got the pack with you, just type into Google chicken nutrition and Google has its own thing that comes up right at the top, gives you all the kind of fat, protein and it usually comes up straight away. Um, if not, there'll be loads of other websites that include that. Um, hitting a plateau. Yes, I have hit loads of plateau. I think that's a plateau, 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 plateau. Um, I have hit a plateau and that's when I went on my bulk um, towards the end of last summer. Um, I think with plateaus, just change it up, change up your... So when I kind of hit a plateau at the end of summer, I had been tracking macros and kind of working hard in the gym. So I just thought, okay, I'm going to change up. I'm not going to track macros. I'm going to eat intuitively and I'm going to kind of just smash out as much as I can at the gym and it was just a change it was just like it made me kind of more motivated to kind of keep going like I don't know it, 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 but change is such an important thing and it really kind of shocks your body and puts your body into kind of learning mode and progressing mode and no, I think change is amazing even if it's just small small amounts of change um, and the last question is cardio um, on your cut. So if I am to do cardio, I usually do about 15 to 20 minutes and that's literally always hit cardio, <laughs> always hit cardio. Um, things like taking my dog for a walk and getting my 10,000 steps in, like that's less, so low intensity steady state cardio, which is just like steady walking or whatever. Like I do love that and, and sometimes, like it changes all the time, sometimes if I, if there's something that I want to watch for 40 minutes, I might just pop myself on the treadmill for 40 minutes, do an incline walk and watch something um, on my phone or like there's, there's yeah, it changes depending on how I feel. But um, as the cut goes on, you'll see more and more in the video that I will be incorporating more cardio rather than reducing my macros as I lose weight or lose fat, not weights as such, but body fat. Um, yeah, I will um, be incorporating more kind of hit cardio up to a maximum of like three times a week just at the end or beginning of my sessions and I usually do them at the end or beginning of upper body sessions, not leg days because I'm usually like a jellyfish walking out the gym after a leg day and I don't really want to ruin the leg day by doing it before. So it's usually on, on upper body days. Um, and that's what I would what I would do for cardio. So I'm gonna head off to the gym now, and it's a new gym. It's called Banner Times, something like that, in Cardiff. Um, my mum told me about it. I've never seen it or heard of it before, so I think it's new in Cardiff. I'm always looking for new gyms um, wherever I am. So I'm gonna go and try that one out. They've got a, a three day pass for fifteen pounds, and I'll let any of my Cardiffians know whether it's um, a good gym or not. Um, it looks good from the pictures and it has a pool, so, oh my god, do I have any swimmers? 